lights out. Hey, I know you're doing some great thing now. Yeah. Lights out is on the map. Yeah. Tell us about what what, what you're doing, man. Lights out, man. Lights out of stream fighting. Uh, My MMA uh, company. And, um, you know, as people know, my my nickname was Lights Out uh, since I was like 16. Oh, you know, okay. how'd you my, get the name? How'd you my, get the so my sophomore year in high school at Frederick Douglass High School in Up Marlboro, Maryland, I knocked out four four dudes in one game. What? Right? <laughs> what you do wait for? In I one game? That. Yeah. So I knocked out four dudes in one yeah. game. When they when they out, they left let, the game. Let everybody know because you saying knocking out. They that, that mean you can. They be, came so, and got so you. Just came and knocked somebody out. Yeah. So two us so, physically, or you mean you, we football? We no football. football. No, no. In the game, this right. game. Mm-hmm. And uh, right after the game, like twenty students come run up to me after the game, like man. You knocked those dudes' lights out, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, call me lights out." I just, <laughs> but I didn't think it was, yeah, I didn't think it was supposed me. to stick. And I got in school the next day, and I walk, and everybody like hit me on the back, like, "Yeah, lights out." So it kind of, it just with stuck you. with me the whole time. And then through college, I went to you know University of Maryland, yeah, Maryland. And then it, um, and then I got there, and like all the older dudes didn't want to call me lights out. And my in my freshman year, uh, we was playing Georgia Tech. On so you ESPN. had to like earn your. So name I had to back. earn it. <laughs> you had to earn your name again. You earn yeah, because you you going to somewhere else. You know how it is, man. You walk in the locker room like man. respect. You got you yeah. You gotta you gotta have that respect. So I walking in, and then we had all these you know the juniors and seniors that didn't want to call me lights out. And I was like, okay, cool, watch. They put me in the game, Georgia Tech, freshman year. I was dropping the coverage. Watkins, the wide receiver, catching the ball across the middle. Uh-huh. Boom! I laid him out. He got up and ran to the sideline. They was like, lights <laughs> out! <laughs> he got his name. Right. Hey, lights. so whoever yeah. doubts you, go put their lights That's out. That's it. That's Ooh. it. Now, is that your uh, your name now in the wrestling? Yeah, well, in the MMA. MMA? MMA? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so, uh, so lights out extreme fighting. We're, we're actually, we got picked up by Fox Sports. Nice, um, nice. Western Prime ticket. Dog. Appreciate it. Uh, back yeah. in May, so it was a it was another former league called California Extreme Fighting. Before I came, it was around about five years, mm-hmm. and they were like a farm league for for UFC and Bellator. So I came and I saw like the excitement of this league. I sat down with my now two partners, Steve and George. I said, "Man, I got a crazy idea. I I, I think we rebrand this thing as Lights Out. Lights Out is known. It's a great great name for MMA. Mm-hmm. And um, I was over there at Fox Sports too on a yep. on the football broadcasting side. Mm-hmm. They had just um. Uh, uh, UFC had just left him with the ESPN. Mm-hmm. So I said, man, look, I got a great idea. I got this MMA league. I'm looking at coming in as a partner. I want to bring it here and try you try it out. Nice. Literally, like within nice. three or four weeks, we got a shot on the Fox Regionals. West Prime ticket in San Diego. Mm-hmm. We we blew up. And then now we just kind of, you know, six regions, wow. including Texas, Florida, um, and Ohio, mm-hmm. uh, Vegas, and certain regions in the country. So like we, you know, this all happened since May. Nice. So now I'm just yeah, I'm on that on that grind. Yeah, you expanding know, expanding the brand. the brand in the league. That's so, cool. so when you was playing, was this your plan after football to do the uh, MMA? Yeah, so I I started training MMA my between uh, my freshman and sophomore year. Okay, um, I mean my 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 rookie in my second year, two thousand five, okay. two thousand six, with Jay Glazer. Really? Wow. Yeah, with Jay Glazer. So, so, so that was just off season. So they were just like off season workouts. It was my off season okay, workout. Okay. So I was I was training because I heard that it was you know for outside linebackers and pass rusher like. It was good to use hands your hands and all. Yeah, I see. So that I said, movement. "All right, cool. I'll yeah. go try this thing out." And I'll, Jay Glazer's like first football guy to kind of transition into MMA. Yeah. And um, Randy Couture was in there, so I walked in with like killers in the, in the first day. I said, oh, "Come oh, get man. this work." Yeah, I was like, "Yo, I'm not. Listen, I don't know what y'all brought me in here for, but I ain't sparring Randy Couture. Right. Y'all no, can no, forget sir. about that." No, sir. <laughs> not at that point. Yeah. Right. So they just it just started helping me with my hand eye coordination, like opening your hips. And using like certain parts of your body for a pass rush. I mean, the, the, my second year I came, I think I had 17, 17. You led the league in, uh, in yeah, led the league in sacks yeah. that year. Wow, Dang. that's awesome, dog. Yeah. All right. Well, that's I mean, you know, because we're always talking about. I like said, you know, you have your career and what people do after. And like I said, we're here to, to watch another former NFL player have success going into the entertainment industry, if yeah. you will. It's part of entertainment. Uh, I just want to say congratulations, Appreciate dog. It, man. That's big, Thank man. You. Thank that's you. Big, man. So, so we, what's the, I mean? The mindset, obviously, I mean, it's one thing to play football, but it's a different animal going in there. You know, you, with them killers, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> like, bro, like, I, I'm seeing guys get bloodied up. Yeah. So, what is your mindset? I mean, I know I don't have that mentality as a defensive player. So, so we we were talking about that before you came in. Where he's like, you you're not you would you you too soft basically. No, see, saying. first, hold that's on, that's see, I didn't say that. You too soft. I didn't say that. They said that. Fighter. But you I what I did say when you walked in, off. I said I said Tio got the if he was into fighting, he had a perfect body frame because your height, your length, mm-hmm. you can come in. 
you know, and he go, but he go leave. What's up, UFC, right. but, MMA? What do y'all y'all want some? Come get some, right? Yeah, get your popcorn ready, baby. You hey, look, we, we can have him lights out in a second. Man, you know what I mean? Yeah, he gonna have you know? him lights out and he yeah. talking that mess. I could be man. under your brand, lights out. Yeah, yeah see, boy, you gotta get hit to be in the, under. I've taken man. plenty of hits, boy. Man, you would have get your head. So this, so this is different. No one going across the middle, baby. I'm tough. Yeah, say no. You you take it. You take some shots. You take some shots. Tell you gonna get hit now. But see the difference. See, it's a lot of similarities between MMA and football. It's a ton mm-hmm. of people don't really like really look into. The craft is different because you got to learn like just the, the you know, you got jujitsu, you mm-hmm. got Muay Thai, you got yeah. all these different like different genre, you know, genres of, of fighting. Right, you know? right. But it's in a sense, man, like the disciplines is, is the same. That's right, why right. you see a lot of a lot of former football players, especially, kind of transitioning over to the sport. Yeah, what's the guy from uh from Greg, Hardy. Cap- Greg Hardy? Greg Hardy. Oh, how's, yeah. how's, he, how's he doing? Woo, yeah, we, we talked no about j- fighting. I just bro, I talked yeah, so I, me and Dana White, you know, we talked about me and Greg Hardy fighting for like a year. Right. But yeah, you, what know, you mean fighting against each other? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be a Ooh, good boy. Fight. Yeah, we. Y'all crazy. I don't but know you, who I would put my money on. Cause. But you know what, man? Like, I like I got such a respect for the sport now. Like he over this past year and a half, uh-huh. he's made like leaps and bounds. Like year right. and a half, I I would have torched him. Right, right. Year right. and a half ago, I would have torched him. Right, right now. He's had like some championship fights. Yeah, he, right, he right, kind of scary right, right. He, right now. He's he, he scary he, he right now. He got some screws loose, bro. Yeah, you got to. So, so, <laughs> let, got so let me ask you this: Are you more scared of somebody who, like I said, got some screws loose, or are just like better technical, technical or take, discipline type, the technical type. guys, the technical guys? Because that's that's always at the end of the day when you get into a sport like that. Mm-hmm. See, we come in, we we already physically gifted. We we not walking in with like two left feet, right? We can right, get in there, right, right. and even if if To put on gloves right now, went to box, and he gonna look like he's gonna look like an athlete, right? Right. So right. no, until, right? You hit, until you hit him and he fall, he gonna look like. A <laughs> first of all, your chin yeah. is so hey, exposed. You, I know, know you wouldn't last ten I seconds. Tell in you no what, see, whenever you want to put on them gloves, homeboy, when you I let would, me know. Bro, I will get. Boy, you got a glass chin, furniture. bro. Boy, don't make me move this. That's furniture. the first thing I'm doing. for that chin, you got him. You gonna. Sleep. This guy. Hey, Go ahead, dog. Hey, look, yeah, look, I'll promote that thing right now. I'll start to <laughs> promote it. But we we already natural athletes, so getting in there is really learning the crafts. When we talk about seeing somebody that's technical, mm-hmm. you got guys that doing had you know Brazilian doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu since they were like 10, right. 11. Yeah. So now you get in there yeah. with those dudes and they get you on the ground and it's it's, it's a wrap. So it's like it's like you're trying to catch up in yeah. a sense because they've had so much experience, yeah. you know, at an early age. It's like again, you got to go in there with your on your p's and q's. So that's where I think the what would you think the training really comes into play? Yeah, you having somebody to really uh, get your trainer to really kind of educate you on like who you're going against. Yep. Mm-hmm. All those, it's, I'm sure it's the same. Like you said with football, kind of understanding your opponent, studying the sport itself, man. But. I, I know we run into each other a few times over the last few years, and yep. I know you've tried to make, you know, you're making that transition. So now, like, where are you, like, you know, as far as your your next fight? Because I know we talked briefly about it. You said you were doing something, then you kind of just, you like, I took a back seat. Yeah. And then now, where are you now as far as getting back in the ring? Like, I haven't seen you fight, but I trust me, if you lights out, I want to see, see it. I want to see it. Lights yeah, out. so, you know, what happened was I was going to take, um, I was going to take a bare knuckle fight. The bare knuckle boxing, <laughs> right? What's wrong right. With you? That's, so, that's, so you know. The, okay. So first, first of all, you so light you got, skin. So you the one that got all, the screws I, loose is what you tell me. First of all, I'm going in the ring. You light skin. They gonna be like, man, this dude light skin. I'm about to knock you. Say, you know what? And that's why I had to learn how to fight early. <laughs> you know, that's why you had to learn. Like, so I used to be growing up. I grew up in PG County, Maryland, like a little bit outside of. I was probably more close to Washington D.C. than okay. anything. So we we grew up around all these boxers, mm-hmm. like these bo- these pro boxers, like came out of my neighborhood, like you know the sugar. Ray Lennon out of Palmer Park and wow. Joppy and I mean just you know, Riddick Bow out, out of Baltimore all these guys right, right. Mm-hmm. you know and I would see them growing up and you had his championship boxer just just popping up in the neighborhood wow. you know pulling up in the Lexus you're like yo he just won a title wow. so I grew up in that and what we used to do we used to you know, go take the gloves and go to, on the side of Seven Eleven, or go like behind the dumpsters, and we used to fight at cookouts. We would fight. No, yeah, if we had a problem, part of the cookout. It was right. yeah, it was like entertainment portion. Wow. If, if there was something to happen, we literally we would go and get the boxing gloves. It was always a fight. Like wow. you always could fix it, and that was just like a part of how I grew up. So as as crazy as it sounded to most people, like yo, you crazy doing bare knuckle? I was like, hold on, somebody about to pay me over half a million dollars to, to get to, that bare knuckle to on. go ahead. And what I would have probably done for free if somebody said something to me wrong, right? Exactly. Yeah. You, you know, if you really think about it, yeah, bare, it's just a title. But when you get in a fight, you it's bare, bare knuckle. It's bare knuckle. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. 
And then, mm-hmm. and then too, you know, you're not going in there right with somebody. I'm not stupid. You know, I'm not getting in there with a, uh, Lennox Lewis. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You're not right. Right. Or you know, somebody you, else trying to do what you're doing. Yeah. Equal or Anthony tier. Joshua. Somebody say oh, you yeah. got to fight Anthony Joshua, bare knuckle. I'm saying, look, I need I need five or six million. Yeah. yeah. You know, at I'm least. Gonna get my right. head now. You know, something right. like that because there's a different because so many people like play fight and like play. You don't. It's like a sport you don't play. Right, oh, you don't yeah, no. you, you no, do it game. or you don't yeah, do yeah. it. 